Hi, and welcome to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina, and today we are going to talk about the 10 essentials that all sophisticated women or men have in their Ikea shopping carts. Oh, are we gonna have some fun today? I can't wait. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up if you love Ikea videos as much as we do, and let's jump in. I thought before we jumped in, we would at least look up the definition of what a sophisticated person is, because how do you actually define a sophisticated person? Well, according to uh, Google, a sophisticated person is someone who is having, revealing, or proceeding from a great deal of worldly experience and knowledge of fashion and culture. I think a sophisticated person is someone who is curious, they love to learn, they love to be able to have other cultures and ideas brought into their home. And when I think about a sophisticated person and the ones that I've been in their homes, they always just seem to exude a sort of elegance, they have this classiness about them, and they're always attentive to their guests and the way they feel on their home. And so as we hopefully get to start entertaining more and also being able to entertain ourselves and our families and our own homes, I think these items today are gonna to be ones that sophisticated people absolutely have in their Ikea cards. They're ones that now are in my cart and I'm like, okay, let's just go ahead and hit purchase and set. So I think you're gonna love these and let's get started because there's so many and they're so good. Okay, so I've loaded them all in my cart because yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna be just hitting purchase because they're really good. But the first one that you really need to make sure that you have in your card are the candles, the Luga scented candles. These are really pretty pillar candles. I love the fact that they're scented. It's just kind of nice. Don't you think that you can have something that's maybe not a tea light? It's nice to have a bigger candle because they really do give off a bigger ambiance. Now, I've also added into my cart the Oot Von Dig candle tray because it's nice to corral. If you have several big candles, you can corral them in a tray. You could add moss. You could add little pebbles or something to the tray if you'd like to just to dress it up a little bit. But either way, I think that sophisticated people always have candles going in their home. They're mindful of the fragrance in their home. They wanna make sure that it smells good and it feels good. And candles just have a knack for doing that in our homes. So definitely check out the Luga scented candles, the pillars, because I think it's just a little bit different from the little tea lights because they just give off just more flame, more ambiance, and there's a few colors you can mix and match. I think you can have a lot of fun with those and they'll really be beautiful and just add so much. Item number two, that pretty much all sophisticated people that I've ever visited with, anytime they entertain or even if they're just setting the dinner table for their family, they would never just slap out a big bottle of soda or juice. They they are mindful about decanting their liquids that they are serving, even if it's just for a family function. And I know that sometimes it's not always practical to do that when it's just you and your family. It is nice to go ahead and decant with your beverages and really make them pretty. I think it just makes everything feel more sophisticated. Every beverage tastes better when it is delivered in a beautiful package. So even if you're buying something that's the off-brand at the store or you haven't bought the most expensive wine, it will suddenly look more expensive if you put it into a beautiful container. So the ones that I've added to my cart are the Tilbringar for water. I think that a water pitcher like this is pretty much a necessity. Like how do you survive without these? I use mine constantly. My kids loved, even just on a normal day, just to have it full of water that we put in the refrigerator. And I realize that in America, a lot of people have the little water dispensers that do dispense cold water. But I don't know about you guys, but when we were overseas, we didn't have the ice cube feature or the water dispenser on any of our refrigerators. 
You guys can let us know if that's a normal feature wherever you live. But we got in the habit of always putting the water pitcher in the refrigerator and it's a habit that just, it's kind of stuck because it elevates the experience of drinking water. You can slice lemons in it and make it really pretty. And I just really recommend that you have one of those in your home. You can also decant juice into them and other things that just makes it all look prettier. Now you also, if you're going to be serving wine, you really should have the store scent for wine. That is a great basic. It's perfect. It's something that you can really make your wine look really beautiful. Supposedly it's good for it to go ahead and decant it before you serve it. I'm not an expert, but that's what I've heard. And uh, yeah, I think it's something that just makes it look prettier too. Next up is a beautiful serving tray. And right now, here we are in the middle of summer. It's hard to not want to have a beautiful wicker tray that you can use to take items from inside the kitchen, perhaps outdoors. If you're going to be dining outdoors or maybe just sitting outside together and you want to be able to present your drinks in a pretty way, we do this even on a normal day. It's just great to have trays that you can transport things and be a little bit more efficient getting them outside. So I thought that the summer drum uh, wicker basket was the perfect tray. It's so beautiful. It looks gorgeous. It's really high quality. I love the fact that Ikea also has these handmade. They're really focused on trying to support local artisans. And so a lot of times their wicker items, especially are things, baskets and all of that, they're really trying to support local artisans. And so it's really nice to be able to do that. And when they buy in bulk, you see how the price is really good, but it's also something that will really elevate your own experience of dining outdoors for the summer. All sophisticated people, maybe it's because they have worldly experience, they're well-traveled, maybe they've been into restaurants where they've had fine dining experiences. I don't know what it is in particular that really just captivates a sophisticated person, but they're very particular about always having proper glassware for their beverages. And I think that it's a lot of fun to have different beverage glasses. And even during the summer when you might be serving something special, maybe a lemonade or anything like that, I think it's nice to have a really pretty glass that you're serving in and you can kind of play around. Things like lemonade and mint juleps can be served in a variety of glasses. So I like to think about the glass itself, the way that it will actually increase the experience of the beverage itself. And I think that these will definitely do that. I was eyeing the for Sarah, the whiskey glasses. I loved that pattern on them. I thought that that was so pretty. It really has a very, very high end look. That cut glass is always something that's a really expensive detail and they've given them to us in such an affordable way. I have in the past mentioned that I don't always love Ikea glasses. These are a little bit heavier and those should be a really good choice. I have also had their champagne glasses, which have actually, I shouldn't probably admit this, but they've actually outlasted the really expensive ones that I had. So I really think that the champagne glasses are another good choice from Ikea. That's why I put the Storehead champagne glasses in my cart as well. And I think they should be in yours because they are so affordable. They'd be great. You can even serve a shrimp cocktail in those. They're just such a pretty basic glass that you'll be able to use over and over for yourself and for when you're entertaining. And it's perfect because you can give them, I like to give these to my kids as well and teach them about the different glasses and get them used to the idea of how to behave when they have something that's made of glass. And I've realized that they just really grow up with that and they actually really don't ever break a glass. So I think it's also a little bit easier when they're less expensive. So if you have kids, if you have a family, I think it's great when you have an affordable option like this to go ahead and let your kids drink out of them and enjoy them. And you can set the table really, really pretty, whether you're entertaining or not. I like to set the table for every meal at, at, at dinner. <laughs> I'm not that good. Like we don't set the table for every single meal in our house. Wow, that'd be very luxurious. Oh, how sophisticated, but no, we're not those people. <laughs> for dinner, if we're lucky, if we're not at a sports event or one of the kids' activities, we do like to set the table. And I like to be able to have Ikea glasses handy like this or something that's really basic that'll really dress up the table, but I'm not worried about it either. 
Next up, we have Beautiful Dishes, and IKEA really has stepped it up lately. They have so many gorgeous options. I had such a hard time narrowing this down because there were so many that I would have really loved to just popped right into my cart. But one in particular that really jumped out at me was the Strimig in gray. I think that that design is so classic. It really has such a sophisticated, timeless feel to it. It feels like some of the more expensive designs that I've seen in Scandinavian uh, brands like Royal Copenhagen, I love those too, but sometimes they can be very expensive and it's really nice to have some affordable options because then when you do have guests or when you are serving yourself or your family, you're not worried or stressed about the plate itself. And so I really think that those are gorgeous. I think that they're so versatile and you're going to be able to set the table season after season. You'll be able to mix it up with different napkin options, different glasses. You could have a tablecloth, you could have a place mats. There's so many different options and these are just going to be something that are going to last you for so many years. So I recommend all the different things. I really like to grab an entire set. I like to have the matching plates and the matching bowls, the dessert plates, the whole thing, because even if I don't use them all as a set, which is a good look as well, if you want to mix them up with maybe a white plate or a black, you can really have a lot of fun. You could add a floral to the center, maybe for the dessert. There's so many options. That's why I think this is ideal and why every sophisticated woman or man has these in their cart right now. Speaking of tablecloths, let's just chat about that for just a second. Have, have you guys noticed that sophisticated people that you know just always seem to have the table really nicely set and they always have a tablecloth. They just always have a tablecloth. It's just something that I've noticed and when I've gone to visit with people literally all over the world. We have been in Asia, Africa, Europe, and we haven't been to South America yet. That's on the list. But um, yes, there's we've visited in so many different homes and so many different cultures, so many different backgrounds. And my sophisticated friends just always had a tablecloth. It was, and my mom was always very particular about always having a tablecloth on our tables. And it's just something that I think really dresses up the table, but it also protects the table. And I think that's something that sophisticated people realize is that they've invested perhaps in a really nice piece piece and they want to make sure that it stays protected. So it's double duty there. It dresses it up and it protects it. And you can add layer after layer and really just have some fun setting the table. So I really recommend that you have a tablecloth. So there's a few at Ikea, but my favorite is the Ghoul Maj. And I think that that is absolutely gorgeous. It has the little bitty stitching around the edge and it's simple. I also like the fact that you can throw it in the washing machine with some bleach and take out any stain so that you aren't worried or stressed while you're entertaining. And that's what I think sophisticated people just nail every time is they really put themselves and others at ease. And so that way you're worried more about the conversation and not about the tablecloth. Sophisticated people that I've always known and really admired, they are really good at entertaining and they always have these recipes that they just, they have in their back pocket and they're really good at bringing out these recipes that just make you feel like you're being so pampered. But a lot of times they're also very simple. So one of the things that really caught my eye that Ikea has right now is the Hay Flavors Cookbook. This is actually made for kids, but the recipes are gorgeous. They're so sophisticated looking, but they are simple. So they're easy recipes that you can present to your family, if you're entertaining, and they'll really impress everybody. Again, they elevate the food experience. Anytime that something is served beautifully, then it just makes it taste better, I think. And so I'm definitely eyeing this cookbook. It went right into my car. I'm like, oh, this is going to be so great. And my son Landon has just recently really gotten into cooking. And so I know that this is one, it really is one that I love and he will love as well. And I think those recipes will be something that will be tasty, beautiful, and I'll be proud to serve to my family and to my guests. And I think that you guys will love that as well. One of the things that I think also all sophisticated people have in their carts right now are pretty 
hand towels. I know that I mentioned the hand towel thing a lot on this channel, and that's because it's important. You really just need to have beautiful hand towels. One of the things that your guests are always going to do is they're going to go to your powder room. It's kind of for them. It's really meant to be this place where they get excited. I think this, um, oh yay, I get to go to the powder room. <laughs> I talk about that all the time with my clients when we're designing their homes and we're talking about the powder room because you really are designing that for for your guests. Now, I will say that my son, he loves our powder room. He doesn't wanna go anywhere else. He wants us to go to the powder room because we made it so special. And one of the things that I always, always check almost on a daily basis in that bathroom are the hand towels because I think that hand towels are really important. It's nice to have ones that are white, that you can bleach, that you can have in there and they look really beautiful and clean and they have that sort of sophisticated feel. So I think that you should definitely put the Sal Vicken guest bathroom hand towels in your cart because they have a really pretty waffle weave on them. You'll be able to bleach them and keep them really clean and crisp. And there's something very elevated and sophisticated about a, a simple, beautiful towel that your guests feel that they are allowed to use, which I think is really important, but it also feels like an entire experience for them. So I like to keep a few of those. So these are really inexpensive, which will really help you out. Have a nice little stack. I always do. I keep a stack of those towels so that I can replace them frequently. And sometimes I'll even, if I'm entertaining, I'll even go and check mid, mid event and I'll go and check the hand towel and switch it out. Maybe the kid went in there with maybe muddy hands. So I think that having a stack of these in your linen closet is always a good idea. If you store them with a little lavender sachet, that's just a little extra. One of the keys to entertaining is also always having beautiful, fresh flowers. Now, I know that it's not always practical to have a bouquet ordered from a florist. I mean, oh, that's the dream, right? <laughs> Who wouldn't love that? But even if you're just gonna run to the grocery store and grab some fresh florals or it's summertime and here at my home, my hydrangeas are in bloom and so I've been snipping them and enjoying them. And there's something about being able to put your florals into a beautiful vase that makes everything just feel, what is it? I don't know, sometimes I think about that. Like, oh, what is it about fresh florals that just make your home feel so sophisticated? I personally just absolutely love it. So affordable ways to get that look. I always, always have a set. It is an, an eternal, thing that I always have on hand are the clear vases. Now we talk a lot about having all different types of vases on this channel, but I don't see how you survive without having at least the basic set of the clear cylinders. And Ikea sells a really good set. They have, they actually are called the cylinder. <laughs> and it's a set of three that are clear. And I like to have these because you never know where you're gonna be putting them. Sometimes you might want to have a low arrangement and sometimes you, want, you might want something really big and tall. And so I like to have a variety of clear vases. You do have to be more mindful that you don't have the leaves down in the water and you have to keep your eye on the water to make sure that it doesn't go brown. But I just, I have these on hand always in my cabinet, it's just a basic. It's something that sophisticated people, I think are really, they're just always prepared. And so if you go to your garden and you found something that's maybe a little bit longer or something a little bit shorter, you've got a vase that's just right for it. And I really like these vases, especially for roses. I think that having the right cylinder shape for your roses can really elevate your the feel of your roses in general and so i think that this is a perfect purchase whether you whether you want a sophisticated home or not everybody should just own these <laughs> they're that good <laughs> Oh my gosh, have I saved the best for last. I have saved the best for last. I've saved the best for last. Okay, okay. i put my phone down before I get too excited. Okay, the last one is the Symphonisk, uh, how do you know what they call it? It's an art speaker. Because sophisticated people 
I, well, oh my gosh, always, 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 always have beautiful music playing in their home. They love to have ambient music playing. They might have the game on if they're inviting you over for a particular game, but in general, they're gonna have really nice ambient music playing throughout the house because they want to set the mood for the home. So, uh, my husband, who is the, he's the man when it comes to making sure that our house sounds good when either someone's coming to visit or it's the end of the day and we're sitting together. In the winter by the fire and the summer will be outdoors and he loves to have music piping throughout the house. And he sent me the picture of the symphonist art speaker and he was like, I have to have this. And I'm like, what what is this okay and so i did a little bit of research and it's actually really cool it is an art piece that hangs on your wall or you could have it if you like to have a little bit more of a casual than yet you could have it sitting on your console table and have it just leaning against the wall but it is a speaker it is an art piece that is also a speaker and you can hook up your Sonos to it. You can hook your Bose up to it. You can have it uh, to where Alexa is attached to it. I, I mean, it's just, what a cool item. It's so cool and it will help your home to be so sophisticated and so chic and it's actually quite affordable. So I really think that that's a really fun option. It comes in black and white. So whatever style you have in your home, so you can really have some fun creating a beautiful art wall. This will be one piece in it. Knowing my husband who want to have a whole wall of them. He's like, why don't I put a set of 12? <laughs> like, wow, that's a lot of sound coming out of that. No, honey. <laughs> but I do think that it's really great. It's something you could add into your art wall or somewhere if you want to have it more casually set on, again, like a console table or a side table. I like to do that as well. And I just think it's a great idea. It looks so cool. And even in your kids, Kitchen, I think this is this would be really cool. So you guys let me know um, what you guys think of the items that we've shown you today. Let us know if there's anything that's in your cart that we should have in ours. I know that a lot of you are not necessarily near an Ikea, which is why I've made sure that you can add these to your cart and go ahead and grab them and just have them shipped to your house because yeah. If my husband catches hold of that cart, he's gonna just hit purchase because he just loves all those things. And we have a lot of fun together and it's really fun, I think, to build out a sophisticated home and a sophisticated life. It's something for you. It's a gift to yourself and it's a gift to your guests that you're, you're creating an experience for everybody that comes into your home. And I think that that is so much fun and it's a really beautiful way to live your life. So let us know down in the comments if you agree or disagree and um, yes, what your favorite items are. I can't wait to read and see what else I should be adding to my cart. And um, otherwise, yes, thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you haven't hit subscribe, we hope you will. We love to give out, we, we love to give you guys Ikea videos. We have an entire playlist because we love Ikea so much. I can't help it. We lived in Scandinavia for six years. Our kids really grew up there. It's something that's really special to us. And I think that their sophisticated modern design, oh, it's so beautiful. And I just can't, I'm just still not over it. I think it's amazing and I, I hope you guys do too. So yeah, I think that's all the time we have for today. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. See you then, bye.